Frenchman Henri Riffard constructed the first successful airship in 1852. His hydrogen-filled blimp carried a three-horsepower steam engine that turned a large propeller and flew at the speed of six miles per hour. The rigid airship, often known as the Zeppelin, after the last name of its innovator, Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin, was developed by the Germans in the late 19th century. Unlike French airships, the German ships had a light framework of metal girders that protected a gas-filled interior. However, like Giffard's airship, they were lifted by highly flammable hydrogen gas and vulnerable to explosion. Large enough to carry substantial numbers of passengers, one of the most famous rigid airships was the Graf Zeppelin, a dirigible that travelled around the world in 1929. In the 1930s, the Graf Zeppelin pioneered the first transatlantic air service, leading to the construction of the Hindenburg, a larger passenger airship. On May 3, 1937, the Hindenburg left Frankfurt, Germany, for a journey across the Atlantic to Lake Hertz Navy Air Base. Stretching 804 feet from stern to bow, it carried 36 passengers and crew of 61. While attempting to moor at Lake Hertz, the airship suddenly burst into flames, probably after the spark ignited its hydrogen core. Rapidly falling 200 feet to the ground, the hull of the airship incinerated within seconds. 13 passengers, 21 crewmen and one civilian member of the ground crew lost their lives and most of the survivors suffered substantial injuries. The Hindenburg was a 245 meter long airship of conventional Zeppelin design that was launched at Friedrichshafen, Germany in March 1936. It had a maximum speed of 135 km per hour and a cruising speed of 126 km per hour. Though it was designed to be filled with helium gas, the airship was filled with highly flammable hydrogen because of export restrictions by the United States against Nazi Germany. In 1936, the Hindenburg inaugurated commercial air service across the North Atlantic by carrying 1,002 passengers on 10 scheduled round trips between Germany and the United States. On May 6, 1937, while landing at Lakehurst, New Jersey, on the second of its scheduled 1937 transatlantic crossings, the Hindenburg burst into flames and was completely destroyed. Of the 97 persons, Aboard, 35 were killed. One member of the ground crew also perished. The fire was officially attributed to a discharge of atmospheric electricity in the vicinity of a hydrogen gas leak from the airship, though it was speculated that the dirigible had been the victim of an anti-Nazi act of sabotage. The Hindenburg disaster which was recorded on film and on phonograph disc, marked the end of the use of rigid airships in commercial air transportation.